Finally! Woo! Everybody, put your hands together for talented John Sherman, author, photographer, opera, libertist, and so much more. You just world traveler. Your book is here. You're going to talk about it with us. Um, war stories and more. A memoir of Nigeria and Biafra. So hi, how are you? Illustrated with photos that he took. Thank you. I saw. I read the back, and I can't wait to read this whole thing. And um, just the photos in the middle are gorgeous. You took these. How this is so inspirational. Like, tell us a little bit about your story and just you and everything about you. We love well, it. Well, I, I graduated from IU. Woo! Yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> School of music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I graduated on Monday, and Saturday I was in Atlanta for Peace Corps training. Okay. To go to Nigeria to be a teacher of English in what was then the eastern region of the country. Yeah. Southeastern part of the country. And that's when this whole scenario started. This, That's this, about the time this, this photo yeah, was taken. Yeah, yes, yes. And my two cutie pie. Look at that 40, fella. Cig- Forty cigarettes a day in that pack. <laughs> <laughs> that pie, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. I I'm love much it. Much healthier now. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. So yeah. So I was, this was taken when I was in Peace Corps. Yeah. Oh, cool. And uh, well, thank you for serving our country and everything well, you thank did. Well, thank you, thank you. Yeah, we yeah, appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, we yeah, love yeah. our veterans and everything about America and serving, and we love right, it. Right. All right. Yes. Yes. yes yeah, and yeah, so then what happened, John? Well, and then. Unfortunately, uh, the part of Nigeria that I was in, um, there, there were a lot of complications leading up to this, but it, mm-hmm. it succeeded to become the Republic of Biafra. Yeah. And uh, so there were about 300 of us who were Peace Corps volunteers in that particular area. Mm-hmm. And uh, the war, Civil War started, and we were evacuated mm-hmm. and went off to other countries. I went to Malawi to, to serve the, the rest of our Peace Corps. Yeah. And um, so um, I... Uh, um, uh, I decided on my own to come back and work with the Red Cross because the year I'd been in Malawi was what I call very distracting because I was thinking about coming back there. The, this is my uh, Nigerian red, uh, my uh, Nigerian driver's license and, and the, oh, the wow, Land Rover that I drove that. during the Red Cross. Yeah. So I wish I could it. zoom in on that mustache. Yeah, yeah. 60, uh, 66. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. The yeah. mustache is the, the beautiful. Big, yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> if I was a guy, I'd have amazing mustaches yeah, yeah, yeah. and bare beard. Yeah. Well, <laughs> exactly. And, and later, I had much longer hair than that, even. Yeah, so, yeah, I yeah, love yeah, it. Yeah. So you, then, were, you, know, you were serving the Peace Corps, you were doing all of this. And yeah, and then, then I came back and I joined the Red Cross, and, and it was a food medical team. Mm. Very close to where I've been in Peace Corps, and mm-hmm. uh, that's the Land Rover that I drove every day. And, oh, wow. I love and, uh, it. Wow. So we went out to do clinics every day. We were... Saving lives, no big deal. Hopefully. Hopefully, yes. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's the thing, though. We, we never really had closure because mm-hmm. it was so many people, so many different places. You that, didn't know what really happened to them after no, your no, care. No, no, we, we hope that, you know, that they survived, of obviously. Course. But, you know, so, no, it's amazing yeah. what you did. I'm sure you saved thousands of lives. I hope so. I of hope course. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, yeah. I love it. It's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. Well, what was it that that took you from? I mean, I don't know. Is it natural to go from English uh, to <laughs> uh, Peace Corps in Nigeria? Like, what? How was that transition? Well, I I wanted to go to Peace Corps since it was founded in 1961. Mm-hmm. I remember, my dad oh, wow. told me about. It. He'd heard it on the radio that President Kennedy was going to, uh, you know, mm-hmm. talked about this, and I yeah. said, "Oh, you mean like." England and France. He said, no, like Africa and South America. Right. Right? And I yeah. said, okay, cool. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and so, so I ended up, you know, uh, I decided all through college I was going to join the Peace Corps when I finished. Yeah. Other people were thinking about going into this, doing that. Mm-hmm. So uh, it was just for me a natural next step. And so I applied and got accepted and went off to Peace Corps. I oh, imagine yeah. they probably weren't turning many people away. Right? No. We that had, time. Yeah. Not to say you weren't super qualified and uh, <laughs> e- eager to, <laughs> yeah, to yeah, serve. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I worked at Peace Corps headquarters later in Washington. And normally we'd have about 6,000 volunteers a year, you know, in, in, in about that many different countries and stuff. Yeah. yeah so. Which probably didn't feel like enough, really. You no, always no, could no, use no. more. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. It's so great yeah, what yeah. you did. And and tell us about this yeah. photo right here. Yeah. The, the this photo. was taken. I, I was, um, this was when I was at the Red Cross. And uh, it's so a, sweet. What a beautiful photo. Thank you. Thank you. This I was inside. We were in a former prison. That's why you have the bars on the window. So we were these are refugees and, and the boy is in the courtyard of the of the prison. And we were in one of the rooms and he's just happened to be looking through. And I grabbed my camera, mm. just took his picture. And it's uh, beautiful. And uh, so he he's was so handsome. Yeah. And so that but this cute. is one of my posters. I have of my poetry and photography and the poem has nothing to do with with the war, but I thought oh, that, that this worked out well with the poem this there, yeah. I love so. it. I love that you... And that's you, one of the photos in the book. 
Yes, yeah. it's in the book. Yes, exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, great. Yeah, I love yeah. that you've just written books and you're also a poet and yeah, amongst yeah, a photographer, yeah. a writer, everything. That's yeah, so yeah, cool. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I mean, these photos are great. I was blown away when I saw that. I mean, just to have that natural eye and just be like, oh, you know, improv and take mm -hmm. that snap right yeah, when yeah, it yeah. mattered. Oh, yeah, I just grabbed right. it and did it right because he wasn't there very long. It's perfect. And I need to know about this. You look amazing. Well, when I was back in 2017, <laughs> my last time there, I'm hoping yeah. to go back. This May, for the, the same conference, I'm a member of the Igbo Studies Association, which is a Nigerian yeah. academic organization. Great, and, so you're going to uh, go back soon. And I lectured uh, and, uh, oh, at three cool. universities, and I'm hoping to go back this May yeah. to attend that same conference and, and uh, to go around and lecture at more universities That's about so my role cool. in the war. If you need a little camera crew to follow you around and give you All some right, videos definitely. for TikTok. <laughs> 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 Are you on TikTok? <laughs> yeah, 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 John, yeah. you should. You should he's, on, he's on Instagram now, and he just released yeah. one of the... Uh, yeah. Yeah. His uh, poems with oh, uh, one of his photographs, I yeah. think, today. Yeah. I did, I did, yes, yeah. yes, yes. That's great. Yeah, 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 yeah. people follow. The, what is your Instagram? Do you want people to follow? Ma Mesa Verde Press, yes. Okay. It's M-E-S-A-V-E-R-D. Uh, Mesa Verde is the street I lived on in Santa Fe. That's what Mesa it Verde yeah. Press. Oh, I Mesa love Verde it. Yeah. There's love the it. website right <laughs> there. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and, as, we, as we talk about getting him back to uh, Africa uh, to do his thing, mm -hmm. and to pursue... Uh, further evolving his opera, the opera, which yes, we'll talk yes, about next. Yeah. There's yes. a little place there you can donate under the Africa link. So Africa and then uh, it's a couple different ways and uh, you were telling us about the Harrison um, Yes, the Harrison Center in Indianapolis is this wonderful arts and wonderful. cultural yeah. organization. Yes, at 16th in Delaware. Mm -hmm. And Joanna Taft is the director. She's just an absolute fantastic person. One of my favorite people. And so they're the, our fiscal agent. Mm -hmm. So uh, I say we. Nathaniel Bloom is the composer of the opera. I, I didn't. I wrote the libretto, the the words, but yeah. uh, but not the not the music. I can't do that. Still, <laughs> yeah. it's like a yin yang. You know, it's just like exactly. half of yeah. Yeah, a yeah. whole or something. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So yeah. beautiful. Yeah. So then that's just it, you wrote it. It started evolving. Mm -hmm. and so now here's now uh, this opera. So let's. Uh, wow. So we're going to get back to this uh, this photo here. It's so yeah. intriguing yeah. Yeah. and interesting. But uh, let's uh, watch and listen <laughs> to about thirty seconds of yeah. uh, a part of the Biafra opera. Okay. Yes, please. Arts garden. garden, we love yeah. the arts garden very much. So, oh my gosh! Yeah, and, uh, the program wow, on John. the table there has her pictured, and uh, yes. John, you were yeah. telling me that that uh, that uh, patch on her is actually from what you wore. Exactly, yeah. It's wow. Paula, Paula John Ingram, mm -hmm. um, an incredible singer, obviously. Um, yeah. IU graduate, wow. of course. Of course, <laughs> school. Hey, among the creme de la creme of the people. You got the creme de la creme of the people. You pick and well, plucked them from there yeah, and, and said, you uh, got to be in this opera. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so the, what the Red Cross badge she's wearing is my <laughs> actual badge that I saved oh. from, from my oh, time there. God bless you so guys. So after the performance, uh, she rushed over to me and, and handed it to me. It was, it was safety pin to her, her mm. outfit. She said, John, take this. I'm so <laughs> I'm going to lose it or something. That's so a historical that. yeah, artifact. Yeah. I can't exactly. blame her. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah, so yeah, sweet. Yeah. And I think that probably gave her some inspiration too. Yeah, just how so. much yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, been yeah. through the badge yeah, and, exactly. and what it stands yeah, for. Yeah, so yeah, that's so sweet. Yeah. She is wonderful. wonderful oh, she's singer. absolutely wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just so, so you got to tell us about this photo now. Okay. Well, when I back in 2017, they they have this. It's it's it comes from the British, an expression called "old boy," mm. which is it means simply an alum of a boys' school. Mm. So, it's like, hello, so, old boy. Yeah, yeah, so, right, exactly. <laughs> so, so my old boys, a few of my old boys, took took me in hand and and took me around and took me back to the school and so forth. They took me mm. to the King's Palace of Eleme, which was the area that the school was in. Right. So I didn't know this was happening. So I'm sitting up by the the king, and with with the chiefs and so forth on this uh, uh, stage, and suddenly they begin to read this announcement that they have made me a chief of the kingdom of Alemi. <gasps> so I received this crown. I, they put it on me, and gave me the staff. You did not. You're a yeah. chief. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, and so then they had this big piece of gorgeous. You see all the 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 work on it. It's like embroidered and oh, just it's really beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, it's yeah, all hand done. Yeah. Wow. So it's had a big piece and of cloth. And that crown. Yeah, and the crown. Yes, yes. <laughs> it looks heavy. <laughs> was it heavy? <laughs> it was heavy and it was very uncomfortable. And I thought, it's I, like I take the picture. On your head. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure King Charles or whatever you know has to put up with this sort of thing, right? He had like <laughs> King Charles with like dents in his head. You're like, no, how yeah, did this I think guy so. wear yeah, this all yeah, the time? Yeah. <laughs> well, then it's when, great. When we went to, when to pack this, when I was coming home, you unscrew the top and there's a knife in there. Oh, that's long knife, awesome. yes, which I had the no king. idea until then. And well, I I love that stuff. Yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah, you yeah. can defend yourself on the low without that's right. people knowing. <laughs> well, I asked for my old boys. I said, well, you know, can I? Now that I'm a chief, can I do beheadings? Because I have this <laughs> and he said no, and I said, well, that's no fun. All right. <laughs> What's this then? What's the that's use right, of this? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> the opera awesome. is the name of the opera that he yes. is uh, oh, yes. still trying to raise funds to finish yes, uh, yes, kind yes, of production yes. on it. So if you go to uh, the Mesa, Mesa Press dot com, you yes. can uh, and hit the Africa tab and then scroll down. There are some ways to uh, to donate there. So uh, we're on a strict uh, TV time, so we have got to. <laughs> Say uh, goodbye to the uh, to the oh. audience, to the uh, WRTV Facebook audience, and uh, I do want to show you one more thing, and that is uh, well, two more things actually. <laughs> next week, uh, next week's episode is going to be with um, uh, B- Layman Brewster. He's a world champion boxer. He will be in studio. And we're going to hear some of his story. Uh, we're also doing uh, something on the uh, Paper Towns red carpet. And we are at uh, Iozo's downtown. So that's going to be a fun episode. Uh, Renee was recently booked for a gig at Tippy's Woo. solo gig. Uh, dude's right. got some yeah. time off uh, February. Playing so the piano. February and 23rd. And singing songs for you guys. Yep. Winnemac, <laughs> Indiana. So come on out. Um, cool. But uh, yes, Renee, why don't you take us out this episode? Yes, and thank you, John Sherman, for being on the show. Thank you. Thank we you had much. so much fun. Everybody, yeah, check him have. out, mesaverdepress.com, and check out his book, War Stories, a memoir of Nigeria and Biafra. We love you guys. ABC, thank you for having us, all of our viewers. We will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Wave, John. Wave. <laughs> <laughs> all right. There's the soft cut. Now we're just hanging out on the live stream. and uh, Now we it's can, chillax. Yeah, we can hear more about your highness. Ooh, that was a that was good. <laughs> <laughs> so, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's an honor it. and a weapon. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I, thought, I yeah, think that's yeah, so yeah. cool. Like yeah. canes like that. It's like okay. I know. I, it was a shock because I had it all, going around with it right. And then we right. go to pack it and it's like, like well don't bring this on the airplane. I know, yes, 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 definitely check bags. You're like right. I did not know on honestly. How was yeah. I supposed to know? Yeah. They knighted right. me. They exactly. made me yeah. What was it? Not a key or a what chief. Was it? chief. Chief, yeah, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I want to travel really bad, you know, and go to. My family lives in Belgium. I've got some family down there. Oh, but okay. We want to travel all over, and it's mm-hmm. really cool that you got to. You've been doing that, and you're going back soon. You said in May. I hope so. Yes. Yes. Cool. Yes. Yeah, yeah. How long is is a pretty long flight? Yeah. A, well, I go through Paris. Okay, mm-hmm. poor me. I have to go through Paris. You got to stop in Paris. I think it's pronounced <laughs> Paris. Paris. <laughs> Paris. <laughs> do you stay a few days in Paris? I do. I, hey. but it, it's one hour difference from Nigeria, so it, okay. I sort of get acclimatized, and it's right. Paris, of course. Right. You, and get, then, you uh, get your feet on the ground. That's right. And that's right. And then it's a nonstop flight from Paris down to Nigeria to a couple of places, so okay. you know, it makes it easy. And yeah. I've heard I have some friends from South Africa and Nigeria, and I just they've told me how beautiful it is oh yes yes yes. just beautiful Mm -hmm. i'd love to travel there Mm. gotta get a big map and put little uh safety pins and just go all over right it's so cool it's so cool how you served and just you got to see so much i'm sure in Mm -hmm. your in your time serving and just beautiful oceans and waters and everything like that go to go to the beach in west and east africa yeah yeah yeah. i love it and did you say something about you live in um where do you or some i thought you said something about santa monica or something santa fe yes i live in santa fe oh yes santa fe indiana okay yeah yeah. cool i thought i was was like santa monica i haven't been there in a minute i was like oh john sherman's fancy living in santa monica (laughs) no so tell us a little bit more about anything um where we can find well we already know mesaverdepress.com right and are you on can they buy your book on amazon where can we get your well, book. if you go to my website, it's on there. Yeah, there, okay. it's, it's actually an Etsy shop, but you can you can access Perfect. it there. Yeah, and get that. It mm-hmm. just looks wonderful, and yeah. it just it 
tell us a little, you know, it's about your journeys in Nigeria and Biafra, right? Well, yes, I, ke- I kept a journal, and it took me a long, long time before the book actually was published. Right, but yeah, right. worked on it, worked on it, worked on it, doing wow. this. So it, it's b- primarily about my being with the Red Cross, but then with flashbacks to the Niger- to the Peace Corps time, because mm-hmm. it was in, you know, the same same. So area, it kind so of like puts that, us yeah. in your shoes and takes us a walk through your shoes exactly, um, yeah, when yeah, you were yeah. going through that time yeah. period. So cool. But when I wrote the opera, I decided I didn't want to be in the opera. I wanted that to be about the Nigerians and the Biafrans and so forth. So it's an all black cast. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but the book, I mean, it kind of has to be, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, it'd right. be a little disorienting. Like well, what are all these white folk doing that's in right, Africa? Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause somebody thought, well, that I was like the book that I was the center of, that you're of the book. Be. Mm. Like, no, Do no, you, no, are no. you a singer? Do you sing? Oh God, no. <laughs> <laughs> he gets uh, professionals like Nathaniel Bloom to uh, handle yes, the yeah. composing. Yeah. Yes. Nathaniel Bloom is, is this incredible composer. Mm-hmm. Wow, and he also conducted the opera. If you if you watch it on, on my website, yeah, you see, I will. See him I will be yeah, watching. Yeah, yeah. I'm so excited. And, uh, yeah, and well, we just... you got to have that. You know, you're an artist yourself with that musical ear to be able to write. You know, the stuff that is poems and it's poetry and it's it's mm-hmm. writing. But you turned it into so much more. You turned it into music. Yeah, it's yeah, it's I... right there with. But that was the yin yang to the yeah, music, exactly. right? The word. Yeah. Well, I, I told <laughs> I told Nathan. I said, you know, I I imagined myself when I was writing it. Mm that I was sitting in the first balcony, first row in, in the, the middle, opera. just looking down. Because if you're down in the orchestra, you're looking up, but I wanted to be able to look down to see the whole stage. Oh, right. And so when you write it, I mean, you have to you have to have the people come in the correct side, right? right so right. you can't have somebody <laughs> turning this way and singing in there. Oh, the first so game there that are way. so many different things yeah. going into oh, yeah, this yeah. writing that it's yeah, just not just is. writing. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like, it's like, Algebra calculations yeah, 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 for yeah, yeah. stage left, stage right, exactly, and stuff like exactly. that. There's so much going yeah, on. Yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. cool. And, and I had to look up what libretto <laughs> was, a li- uh, libretto, and that's basically the uh, the text. That, I mean, that's kind of exactly. the, the poetry yeah. side of yeah, an yeah. opera, right? It's a so, fancy word for the, the text. Yeah, exactly. Beautiful. Of course, it's fancy. <laughs> Do you have a favorite seat in the opera? Where's your favorite seat? Is there um, a good one? I would say about where I was. Where you was, was, right, in, about, right yeah. in the middle. As front. long as there's not the railing right there. The, the, right. Sorry, maybe the second row up would be oh. the one. Yeah, but, but we, have, uh, we haven't been in a minute to an opera. We need to go and work. Kind of, well, we're we did. Get we yours. did just see. We were at uh, we Clues were Memorial Yun. Hall. We saw uh, Shen Yun, and it was just awesome. It, it was, was beautiful. We, I cried. We've seen it a few times, but yeah, yeah that stuff awesome. will bring you to tears. It's just like the opera. You know, you sit there mm-hmm. and you're just so something about it. It's not unlike anything else. Someone that really appreciates the opera. You sit there. You know, some people, it's just, it's dead to them. They don't understand it. But if you mm-hmm. really do understand it, you're in that opera theater and it's just like the whole time, you know, you yeah. know, yeah. you know, you yeah. love yeah. it. It's <laughs> kind of like the opera because you have to kind of interpret like what is like Shen Yun. They, there was, there was no words. It was all just dance. So you're, mm-hmm. you're kind of gaining information from the dance and there's different interpretations of it. But mm-hmm. opera is one of those things. I'm sure there's a spectrum, but it's, you really have to, um, you know, it's you really got to pay attention. Interpre- yeah. I mm-hmm. think it means yeah. different yeah. things yeah. Yeah. to different people and just the fact that you're making the words for that like that's what they're singing that's crazy and the, little, the little clip that we saw i love the lyrics and still and singing. the poem yeah. with the the little boy in the window, mm-hmm. the window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that that looks great i can't wait to read that poem yeah, 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 have you yeah. always been a poet like when you were younger you were just ri- writing and i well I, I um i started really writing seriously in college mm-hmm. but years later i found my my poems from college and i read them and i thought they were just awful we're and our own worst critics, are we? <laughs> <laughs> They're probably so, brilliant, yeah. and we're like, it so, sucks. Well, I crumpled them up and threw them away. I had oh, no. no copies. They weren't on the computer. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, no copies. And later I thought, oh, well, maybe that was too hasty. And then <laughs> I found one more, and I said, nope. I run it, threw it away. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't learn your lesson. Yeah, yeah. So the po- poetry that I saved begins actually when I was in Peace Corps. So Got I started writing that. Mm-hmm. It was, you were in a kind of an isolated experience. You have you already done the... You check the kids' papers. I was teaching English and stuff like right. that. So you had the rest of the evening. And so you sit there and... Right, right, right. You, you'd write. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so, so I'm guessing you are probably have more books filled than I do. I have... Um, I'm planning on releasing my first two books. I don't know if it's going to be anytime soon. I'm hoping you know how it is with, uh, it, with yeah, that. Yeah, but yeah, I need yeah. to figure out about publishing and stuff. But the first book is going to be like this thick. And it's like 27 books squished into one book. Wow, wow. So it'll be like Shel Silverstein, <laughs> like a big poem book. And the second yeah, yeah, book's yeah. a poem book. 
Um, so I'm gonna have to be. We'll take you out to lunch, reach out to you, and you're gonna have to teach me all the ways. Yeah, are you are you self published, John, or did you get a uh, publishing uh, company? Or th- this was self published. I've been both more stories published and and, and self published. Yeah, 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 you okay. hear yeah. great things about both. Which I do you prefer? No what was the better experience? Well. You get I, more control when you do something. Yeah, I like right? I like the control of stuff. And you get all the good. money. You don't have yeah, to share yeah, the yeah, money. That's right, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so oh, cool. Yeah, I yeah. mean, um, it's yeah. just it's it's just hard to you know put yourself out there like that and write and <laughs> and yeah, yeah. I always appreciate one that can do that because it's it's really important to have artists in the world that aren't afraid to be themselves, them them weirdo selves. I bet exactly. your beginning poets or your poems back you know when you crumpled it up were just mm-hmm. amazing right is it well i don't know <laughs> we're hard on ourselves and yeah, being yeah. young i think you know the younger you are to birth it's just like this your child like brilliance is still there and stuff like mm-hmm. one time i lost one of my books my one of my 27 books i lost it on a, i left it on an airplane and i went back trying to get it and i ne- i still think about that dang book i'm just like one yeah, yeah, of yeah, the yeah, better yeah. books <laughs> you know <laughs> someone read all of them and like who is this crazy girl these poems <laughs> yeah, yeah, i can't yeah. imagine yeah, someone finding yeah. that book but no it's just great so we're gonna have to definitely check everything you have out on mesaverdepress.com and they can find and buy your book on there yes, yes, yeah, and yeah. your instagram is also mesa verde press right exactly where we can find yeah, yeah, yeah. and there is you can find your poems and you know just the opera and what do we got to do to get this thing going your opera it's it's almost finished i mean it's finished and we just yeah. need the funding to really get that thing exactly out there. yeah yeah the writing is all done it's i all mean done. i wrote the libretto at the very beginning i wrote wow. the whole thing it's three acts two scenes each act trying right. to pay yeah. these musicians that's right, right. Yeah. Yeah. right. Yeah. these and, talented uh, folks yeah so what you see in the in the performance that we did at the arts garden is the last 20 minutes of act two and um, so what we're tra- seeking to raise three hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollars which for me is a lot of money but for some people it's nothing right right and uh so we're trying to raise that either in in chunks of money or the whole money money of course mm-hmm. um so that we can f- complete the scoring and then um we had a 14 piece or 15 piece live orchestra that that nathan nathan had pulled together and was conducting Ooh, i love it and uh so he's going to actually double the number of of instrument instruments for for the for that as well as the red. Wow, yeah, that'll yeah. be beautiful. So we have 20 to 30, you know, uh, mm. musicians. <laughs> and um, and then we, we're going to do what's called workshopping, where we go out and we we get, and this is where we can get real community involvement, whether it's in Naples or, or anywhere right. across, so that, um, and you don't have to be to be black to be in this, right? The workshopping part where you can right. be anybody. Right. So these people could perform one one of the, the, um, the scenes. And so they learn about, Costumes and stagecraft and and uh, and, and um, uh, you know wardrobe and and uh, uh, the the singing of course and and about opera itself and about the history of the what the opera is all oh, about wow. the, the Civil War and everything. So I it's a, a show that yeah, and yeah. just learn about. Yeah. And then we get to sit the there and, and kind of critique it ourselves and say, okay, this scene it, it works, we're good, mm-hmm. or this scene doesn't work, we need to add it or do a little bit. Yeah. Either I need to change the libretto a little bit, or he needs to change right. a little bit. So see how all the little puzzle pieces fit exactly. together. Yeah, so yeah, many yeah. moving parts, right? Exactly. So, so oh, Nathaniel goodness. Bloom has a long, long IMDb yes. uh, profile. Yes, yes. I mean, he com- he was a composer on the Flash TV series. I love that show. Arrow. Um, well, I love that show. Yeah. I mean, I mean, look at, <laughs> look at all these credits he has. Man, like very. More, I mean, yes, and look yes, at the yes, ratings yes. too. That's yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So you're wow. working with some high quality, oh, um, incredible, high yeah, quality yeah, composer. That's amazing, yeah, yeah. John. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is everybody casted already? No. 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 Oh. Now we're hoping. Renee, we're how's hoping your opera? That <laughs> honestly, I was trained in classical music. And everyone, my my mentors and my people, they always wanted me to pursue opera, but uh, instead yeah. I went the more um, rock rock and roll. Yeah, pop. Yeah, but yeah. I always, but I do have a very operatic voice. My vibrato is very I've, intense. I've seen your home videos. You're definitely a Christine. <laughs> oh, I wish I wish I would have cast been cast as Christine if I was a little bit older. She's perfect though in Phantom of the Opera. Uh-huh. Um, what's her name? Emmy Roslin, I think, or something. Emmy Rosalind in the yeah yeah. In the, in she's the, incredible. In the she's movie. perfect Recent for Christine. Movie. But yeah. I would maybe I'll show up at uh, 
You know, but you know, you, oh wait, I forgot. You have to be after African American for this yes, particular yes, yeah. weapon. Not Maybe for the workshop, for of, though. Not yeah. for the workshop. Not for the workshop. But yeah. I would love yeah. to come to the workshop and then um, just like learn about, you know, maybe just oh, he, yeah. her, hear from some of the opera singers and I'm sing with them yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, learn yeah, from yeah, them. Yeah, 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 That'd be yeah, fun. Yeah. We could practice some scales. I'll show them how high I can go. That's right. <laughs> when I was younger, I had a whistle tone, but it's not there anymore. <laughs> All right, guys. There, there was no. Uh, we didn't. Do, we got a few more. Uh, a few more entries for the district tap giveaway if you go to in the loop tv hit the giveaways tab that, that's a way to enter we got that we're up to 39 no big deal but mm. i'm really excited about the uh kind of the new thing that i'm doing in addition to that uh kind of the official giveaway is taking uh, uh a photo or a screen grab of your invites go to in the loop on facebook go to send invites or invite friends or whatever it is and uh check those Invite everybody if you want. That'll increase your chances of winning. Yeah. We, we had two winners today, John McNeil and uh, Justin Sigmund. So Woo. I'll be reaching out to them, getting their address, and s- s- literally sticking them in the mail. I will stick them in the mail myself. There's no the postage is included. So it's all good. And you get to enjoy uh, District Tap downtown or District Tap on the north side. So, yeah. yeah. You know, I was thinking, um, I know some of the most talented, most beautiful, ooh, I sing with them in the Jim Ursay band. They're my sisters and family, but mm-hmm. I might send them your way to audition for your opera because oh, okay. they are truly iconic women here and they are so, so like renowned in indie and um, strong yeah, African American women, oh, three they, of them, J Soul. J Soul, that's what we call ourselves. It's mm-hmm. the J, it's the soul part of the so. Jim Ursay band. Uh-huh. So, and you know, and they and us four, they've just. They, they're everything to me. Like they have taught me so much and helped me become such an incredible human and singer, especially. But I'm gonna send these girls your way. Um, Stacy McCracken, Elena Renee, and Stephanie Allen Stevenson. All I'm right. gonna say you have an opera to audition for. <laughs> Is there a date for the workshop? I can't remember. No, no, okay, we don't, not, not yet. yet. Okay. Not yet. Yeah, all right. yeah, yeah. These Stay girls tuned. can sing. Yeah. Just like what's your what's your girl's name here again? She's so talented. The one you cast here. Oh. Paula Dion Ingram. Oh uh, yes, yeah. she's Gra- from Indianapolis. Grab and, the, uh, oh, she's in the. Um, she's in. Is it up? There we go. Yeah, yeah. She, that's her right there. I and, love it. And I never heard of her. Nathan she's found right her and just brought her over and said, "If Here Nathan found is, her, yeah. you know she's good." <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, 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 uh, With his I, credentials. <laughs> and he, he, she just hit the computer and showed me something. It was like you're like she's the one. Oh, done deal. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Not even listening yeah. to audio, I could tell she's awesome. Oh yeah, just her expression and the way she's just you know acting and singing and that's hard to do at the same time yeah well, she, she had been in a <laughs> doing the lion king a, a right pbs there. production of uh, porgy and bass and Na- national oh Wilder really first and the, the glenbourne festival in scotland she'd been to several times and she just you know and she sings this is yeah super talented right so exciting and this is going to come to just Full t- fruition, whatever the word is, tuition, fruition, fruition, fruition. fruition that's the one. <laughs> Public school family, intuition. John. Nathan intuition. Nathan. Yeah, yeah. No, it's going to yeah. come like full circle and yeah. it's going to be amazing. We're going to be there for you when it happens. And we're Thank just you. so Thank excited yeah. to learn about everything that you're doing and everything you've done. So, so talented. Wow. You well, keep you. shining. <laughs> you bright, shining. you little right. star, you. <laughs> Look at that applause. It's wonderful. And the arts garden is great. Oh, it is. It is. That was a great idea. And I think at the workshop, we'll get Jason in there and get some more footage for you or something, too. Yeah. Wonderful. Whatever we can do to help. Okay. Thank you. Awesome, John. We'll have you back on the show, maybe. Yes. Well, yes. (laughs) Great. Make an announcement. That'd be an exciting announcement. So yes. maybe um, someone is listening, you know, on all of our platforms that we're on in ABC and all of our viewers and sponsors. Maybe if someone listen that just has it, you know, they, they're they super wealthy and they love the opera yeah, and I they've seen so. what yes. you have it's to a, offer yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. they want to contribute to this opera. So. Yeah, if uh, <laughs> if, if 300,000 <laughs> people give one dollar, you're set. Exactly. So you don't have to be wealthy. Exactly. You don't have to be wealthy. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to figure a way to share this, share this and get this thing going because I'm That's so right. excited for yeah, you, John. Yeah, it's yeah. really awesome Thank wow yeah, yeah i love it i love it i want to make a broadway musical one day with my flow over of songs because i have like hundreds of songs cool, <laughs> so cool. with the yeah, extra yeah, ones yeah. or as we I, like yeah. to call it librettos yeah. <laughs> yeah you feel me you know how it is yeah, yeah, yeah. so with my extra songs well maybe not the, i don't know i kind of want the broadway musical to be like honestly honestly i'm gonna cast myself as the lead role 
hair flip. Imagine that. But <laughs> <laughs> but the whole the whole musical, and I don't want to say compare it to Hamilton because it's not going to be like that. But the whole musical will just be about like this girl me playing at her piano, different parts in her life, all the songs that portray mm-hmm. her. Of course, all the stuff that's going on in her life in between. So that's just something. As for I gotta get my books out, my record out, this and that out, my music videos. Then maybe we'll focus. But I'm gonna come find you and get. I need some advice. All right. I need Very some good. help. Very good. Okay, definitely, definitely. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming, John. Thank you. Thank you. For we me. really appreciate you Jason. coming on the show what, with us. What do you think of that uh, zombie dust beer? I like that. Yeah, it's good, yeah. right? It's Did you know good. people yeah. used Hoppy. to when that first came Renee, out? Renee, do you remember where that's from? The brewing company. Zombie Dust. I was is thinking Gumball Head, maybe. No, it's not. Well, Gumball Head is Gumball, Gumball Head. Right? Gumball Head. Yeah, you're can't right. See it. Yeah. yeah, I can't um, remember. Let me see. Yeah. yeah. Um, see if you can read people that. would wait. I was thinking Michigan. Where? Three Floyds. Duh. Which yeah. is where? Oh, three Floyds. Three Floyds. You know. No, we, I know, but where? Oh. What do you mean? It, Let's see. It, no, it, it usually Brewing says like, LLC Munster. Nice. Munster, Munster yeah, Indiana. Yeah. yeah. yeah it Munster. Does say okay. That. It is Indiana. Great. Okay. Uh, yeah. John, John McNeil's watching. He just said three, three Floyds. Floyds. Like, of course he oh, would know. So <laughs> John, I don't know if you're just tuning in. But, you won, John. Uh, but you, you won, won the gift card. You were, you were the only one that uh, <laughs> guessed who would be the uh, the matchup in the Super Bowl. So you, you got a it, gift buddy. card coming to you. I'm going to. We'll look, walk it over, neighbor. Stick it to you. Well, I was going to not mention that. Not say that we're neighbors. Yeah, he's a neighbor. But who cares? He's still a viewer. So Yeah, he's tuning in. He's commenting, which y'all need to be doing and getting your free gift card, the district But well, not, but, the, not the district I'm sorry. Oh my god, I did the uh, same you thing did it you too. did. I know. The district <laughs> in tab. the loop TV yeah. and click on the giveaways tab. So but, easy. John, I was gonna tell you back in the day, people used to wait in line when this would come into the like gas stations and wow. like liquor stores. They would just snatch cases of zombie dust. This was like 2015 so or something. People love zombie Delicious. dust. Delicious. It's a little mm-hmm. too hoppy for me. I'm not really into IPs. Mm-hmm. I like I, that light. I, I warned him. It's like it's pretty hoppy. He's like, yeah, 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 let me try you that like zombie hops? dust. You like the hops? Yeah, uh, yeah. my yeah. kind of man. Yeah. Sometimes I mean, he was hoppy. telling us. He was telling us before we went live. He's talking about his time in Biafra. I think right. The, the town. You've had to experience lots of different beers. Smoking yeah. your cigarettes. Yeah. Smoking your cigarettes and dancing in the streets. Oh God, yes. You gotta live that life and have fun with it. You know. Every Saturday night. You're drinking and dancing and oh, and just a cigarette have, in his yeah. hand. And, in the pubs and, and, oh, yeah, yeah, and just yeah, having yeah. a good Cigarettes, time. That's a yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. Cigarettes yeah. buried deep in his pocket just, right there. That's so cool. Oh, I love it. I See, love then it was 40 too. cigarettes a day. Now I swim a mile a week. So, you know. You hey. swim? I love yeah, swimming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No wonder why you're so energetic. Yeah. I need to get on some of that. <laughs> I like swimming, but I'm the worst. Like, I need more bananas because my, to- my toes be like. <laughs> and I'm like, oh. <laughs> like, my toes are like. I think, and I'm like, okay, I, I, I swimming's not for me. Aren't bananas for bruising? That's not for <laughs> no, cramps, it, is it? No, it's like potassium. It builds, you know. Is that for cramps, it, too? Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> it helps it not be like. <laughs> okay, I don't know what that means. And then means. you're like bending your toes back. You're <laughs> I like, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst, but yeah. Maybe just maybe just less chicken nuggies. No more yeah. bananas. Chicken nuggies. Less chicken nuggies. <laughs> I will never forsake the. Chicken John, do you nuggies. like chicken nuggies? Uh, <laughs> do, you know, do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I know. Chicken nuggets, <laughs> Chick Fil A okay. nuggets, <laughs> yeah. God's chicken. Yep. Yep. <laughs> That's why he's so energetic, yeah, so, so healthy. Right. Oh my yeah. goodness! Yeah. No, World thank you traveler. so much for having so much fun with us, John. We are gonna head out here and make sure you check everything John Sherman has to offer at uh, mesaverdepress.com. You've been incredible. Thank you so much Thank for you. being here. Thank you so much, both of <laughs> you. Thank can't wait to re- read your book, yeah. War Stories. Is we that your most recent book? No, no. I've done several since then. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, Multiple I'm going to start books. with that one. Yes, okay. we'll start. And then I'll ask you we'll for more. With... Yes. I'll ask you back again and, and be we'll like, hey, can you bring you... a different book? We'll have <laughs> sure. you back on yeah, the yeah. show soon when we get your offer kicked off. All right. Yeah. Very good. Very good. <laughs> all right. Let's make it thank happen. You. So much. Yeah, thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. And thank you to our viewers. We will see you all soon. Make sure you check us out every Saturday Watch on a different ABC. episode. A different episode this Saturday. Yeah. So we At stack midnight. It. Yeah, it's different. It's not this one. It's a different one. We're out in all the bars and the restaurants and the hotels. If they have ABC on at the time. If they have ABC on at the time, which a lot of them do. So you might see us. And send us a little video if you see us out in, you know, when you're out Mm -hmm. Saturday at midnight. Or you could check us out every Thursday at 7 p.m. We have wonderful guests like John Sherman. Or in the hotels (laughs) or on your favorite podcast platforms. We're everywhere. Right. Like, you know, all the platforms there is. Yeah. We don't really do TikTok. Oh, we do. We do. We do. Yep, we do. So yep. you can check us We're out on, on all the platforms. And one more thing, head to in the loop.tv, y'all. 
and click on the giveaways tab. We are giving away a lot of the district tab gift cards, $50. I'm doing a gig at Tippy's for what? my first, um, you know, I'm a full-time musician. I love what I do, but I have not done solo gigs in a few years. Full-time to- musician slash TV superstar. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm now streaming too, Obviously. and I'm taking song requests. Um, I'll be streaming tonight too, I think later on on all platforms. Uh, playing piano, take some song requests. So. Oh. so check us out, y'all. And thank you so much again for everything, everybody. We love you guys. All See right. you next time. Bye. Thank you, John Sherman. Wait, John. There we go. Bye. Bye. Live stream Thursday at 7, Saturday at midnight on ABC, and 24-7 inside Indianapolis hotels.